oh, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. My stomach hurts. And your dad's like, your dad's like, oh, what symptoms do you have? <laughs> right? My dad. Yeah, your dad. He asked him what symptoms he has. Yeah, because he was the boss, right? And he goes, oh, it's just coming out every, uh, every fifteen to twenty minutes. You know what your dad said? He goes, well, you only live fifteen minutes down the road. Have a shit, right? And then catch a train, whatever, get to the work and have a shit straight after. You'll be right. There'll be you have enough time to get there and back. The B side word. Talking Jeez, later. Talking about um home. talking about uh <laughs> sick tradies. Talking about sick tradies. This like this, look what I'm gonna do here. There was a tradie that uh pulled a sickie mm. and said that he had oh, I heard about said this. that he had COVID. Oh. oh, he had it. He had COVID. Where so, is this? In Wollongong. So he had to stay home. But then because the business owner was very proactive and he didn't want anyone else to get in trouble, like get sick, he sent everyone home. <gasps> he sent everyone home because that's the protocol. I have COVID, boss. I have COVID. I'm going to be, as a as a shop owner, as a business owner, I'm like, all right, I'm responsible. For my patrons and my people that work for me, everyone go home. Oh, Get tested, go no. home. He got wind of it and then he, he rang up and said, oh, it was a negative. It was actually negative. Like a false negative. It was false negative. Po- false positive. False, yeah, false false pos. But then they found that he'd lied. What did so you hear how, about it, Siege? How long were they off for? I, my mum told me. Yeah, what'd she say? She goes, some idiot wanted to take a day off work mm. and told his boss he had COVID. I'm like, what a douche. <laughs> so how how did they find him out? Uh, that's a good question. When you have COVID, our government looks at, our government starts looking at you. And if this guy is reported saying, I got one of my workers that has he COVID. He faces five years behind bars. Have checked it. Yes, we got contact tracing and stuff. He's facing jail time up yeah. to five years. Uh, Good. At least we know where he is. But I mean, Wait, how did they track where he's got his COVID from? If he said he had a false positive, how do they know that he didn't have a false positive? Like, how did he not keep that liar? Because, um, I don't think he went and got a test. Everyone who gets tested. Oh, but do you? Oh, so you don't like? We have like our lateral flow ones, which you just do it, do it yourself kits. No, nah, you don't. Not have yet. That. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, so it doesn't quite say, it just says, because the place had to get deep cleaned, everyone was sent home, blah, 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 blah. go down a bit. Man. And then later in the day, he said, he sent another message saying, oh, it was negative after having a second test. But then just said the police allege he never tested positive in the first place. And oh. then they launched an investigation. Um, I would make him pay for it. Pay for what? The cleaning down. the people's wages for the day that he's cost them. The boss's loss of money. Go down. Yeah. It's... He'll be working for free for a long time. Mm. It's just that, like, you know, yeah. like, when he did it, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably that day. It was just like, I really, really don't want to go in. Like, this is not, I'm not feeling it. And then he gave that excuse and he went, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Wait a second. Just say, <laughs> was it? Just say, I've got a runny nose, <laughs> and you have to go do a COVID testy. But you know, he's probably he's if he's the type of person who's lied about, he's probably done his he's probably done his rounds with sickies. He's probably been like, yeah. he's probably had his boss. I got coming out. I don't want to give you details, but it's coming out. I can't come in. It's coming out. <laughs> um, and he's had his. Oh, I've been I've been up all night. Tell me, I've been throwing up. Of it. He's probably used his ones, so he's like, I've got to use, like, got to be convincing, it's got to be believable. COVID. Yeah, so he's going for, I've got COVID. You know, <laughs> I just remember you talking about upset stomach. Uh, I remember your dad telling me when he was the boss of the insurance companies or he was getting, anyways, this guy rang your dad up. He was the boss, right? And he rang him up and he said, oh, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to make it. My stomach hurts. And your dad's like, your dad's like, oh, what symptoms do you have? <laughs> right? My dad? Yeah, your dad. He asked him what symptoms he has. Yeah, because he was the boss, right? And he goes, oh, it's just coming out every uh, every 15 to 20 minutes. You know what your dad said? He goes, well, you only live 15 minutes down the road. Have a shit, right? 
and then catch a train, whatever, <laughs> get to the work and have a shit straight after. You'll be right. There'll be you have enough time to get there and back. <laughs> he did it. I, I I I didn't make that up. Your dad said, and I was pissing myself laughing. I was like, <laughs> man, I don't know what, if my boss. That is the best. If my boss How? told me that, I would be like, ah. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll rush. Yeah, yeah, I'll shut I'm on the shot. way. <laughs> I'll have a shot there. So I don't. You would not. I don't want to speak for you my wouldn't. sister, but have you have you ever heard that one before? No. So I've never heard this. How did. What conversation were you having with our dad that you found this out? <laughs> I don't know. I thought this was. Because the way he told it, it was like a story he's told before. I thought it was one of his go to stories. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you telling the dad how you took a day off work by saying you had a sore stomach? <laughs> so, I mean, I mean this, is, this is you one of the things him? where I feel like work from home doesn't work in your favour because, yeah, like, you can't not come into it. You can't not work because of, of that one anymore. No. Because you're home. Yeah. Yeah. But it's interesting. I was, like... <laughs> But I was I don't know why. So I was doing like a comprehension lesson with some students and this topic was one of the lessons and it's there was like facts in there that eighty or eighty five percent of, of um bosses do not believe their workers when no, they call 100%. in sick. And that is the hundred percent reason why I no. hate calling in sick. Like I get like so anxious about it because I'm just like, they won't believe me. They won't believe me. Even though I'm genuinely sick. I'm like, like even yesterday I felt crap, didn't I? And everyone was like, you're like, call in sick. And I was like, I can't. I, w- I literally called in sick two weeks ago. They're going to hate me. They're not going to believe me. And it's just that fear of like, why? what if they so, don't believe me? So you don't have to like, if you don't want to lie, right? This is what my mate does. He he rings up uh, rings up the boss and he goes, I'm not coming in today. Mm-hmm. And the boss goes, what's wrong with you? And my mate goes, I don't want to lie to you. And he hangs up. Yeah, but this isn't even, that is crazy. <laughs> I don't want to lie. I, I mean, your calls uh, get me when I've heard you. I've heard you call in sick lots of times and literally it's this. So it's ringing, bling, bling. And then all I hear is, yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm um, not coming in. All right, bye. That's it. And I'm like, wait, you didn't even say why. Like, you didn't even say you were sick. Well, I don't understand why I'm going to tell them I'm sick. They're not a doctor. I know, but it's like I don't sh- understand. Like if I tell them, "Oh, I've got this," they're like, "Oh, all right." In my medical, uh, in my medical opinion, through my years of being a doing a PhD in uh, being a doctor, I can tell you but that you can have a day off because no, because so you not- don't even say I'm sick. You're just like I'm not coming in today. Yeah, all right, bye. Then, yeah, are they not just like. <laughs> Why are you just not feeling like it? I just text. I just feel like a day off. <laughs> what like, do they say on the other end? Oh, they go. Oh, you know, because there's a, there's actually a delay. Yeah, because they're waiting for you to continue. Yeah. Like and say, okay, so why are you not coming in? But then you don't continue. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, you, so, so what do they so do? It's like this. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not coming in. And then they're just like, okay. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, all right, see ya. <laughs> see you it's tomorrow. literally, that's what it sounds like from my end. Like, well, I'm not trying to be rude. It's just, I'm like, I'm not coming I in. I wish I could be like that. I give, I actually give the detail because I'm trying to convince them that I'm oh, not lying. So I don't understand. I, so I don't even worse. know what's worse. It's like, oh, I'm not coming in today. Why is that? Well, there's this thing that happens in my belly where it's <laughs> right. And then I go to the toilet and it goes, shh, shh, shh. Then I wipe, I wipe, and then I feel good. I swear, boss, I, if I, I feel good. So I go back down and I, I lie down for a bit and all of a sudden... So, so I don't understand. Like I last, understand. I think it was about what? two months ago, I had I was sick, right? And I had called in sick and I said, I'll let you know how I feel tomorrow. So then the next day comes and then I wasn't feeling great. I still, I wasn't feeling great. So I called in, same boss. And I said, oh, I'm still not feeling very well. Um, but then because I thought she's not going to believe me, I kept talking, right? So mm. I kept talking to the point where I was like, but maybe I'll be okay. Yeah, Oh, my maybe. gosh. I don't. <laughs> so then I, I talked to so you. You talked yourself into going so to work? So then I was like, oh, you know what? Uh, after talking to you, no, do you know what? I think I'll, I'll come in. I'll come in and then I'll, I'll see how I get on and I end up working. <laughs> Because I taught, I was trying to Holy convince her so much you, that I wasn't lying and that, you know, I was trying to... Uh, I feel like you Emma, feel like... How naive are you? You have to, like, you know... 
Sarah, so yeah, like, and I feel I've got a migraine now. This is day two, but I'll definitely go into work tomorrow because I just hate calling in sick. I hate it. It's like the worst thing of all time. But if not, it was text messaging, fine. Just call them in so I got a migraine. The calling part. That's it. But you, like, I don't understand. Like, if you think you're gonna, like, if you think you're lying, the thing is, you're sick. I <laughs> know. Not, I know. You are sick, but you convince yourself that you're lying about your sickness. No, I know I'm not lying. I just don't want them to think I'm lying. Who cares what they think? <laughs> Is this not normal? That's normal. <laughs> wait, I think wait, that's normal. Wait, wait. So, like, okay. Uh, so, I'm trying to... I'll be you to my boss. I'll be like, all right. I'm not coming in today because I'm not feeling well. All right? Mm. Do you... Boss, do you think I'm lying? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Because if not, I'll, I keep, do now. I'll keep talking. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep talking until I convince myself that I'm not sick anymore, even though I'm still sick. I so, know that they think people are lying because they they the, I they have called up doctors and said such and such said they came in. Can you confirm if this person came in in the past? I know they do that because I was told. Yes, and they've also caught people yes, we do. like you know faking You're medical. Probably... So they presume people are lying, and I just hate that you feeling. Know, I don't understand. They, you, they can't ring the doctor. You were, they do. You were probably call, told that to, to scare you they into to thinking. They, they can ask they if it. the person's been there. No, no. I when I had to step up in a secondment in a leadership role, I was told this is what we do. Like you can do that if you want. Like you don't have to, but you know I've done it before. Yeah. Depending so my, on the person. So my question to you then, Emma, because I yes. I completely under depending on the person, I completely understand where you're coming from. I completely understand mm. where you're coming from. But my question to you, thinking outside of my own head, you call in, you think that they think that you're lying. Mm -hmm. If they do think you're lying, say you're right, and they do think you're lying, mm -hmm. what happens? Like, what's what's the consequence of that? It's just that they think down on you then, because they're like, <sighs> "What a liar!" Yeah. And how so, does like, that I, impact your life? It like oh, I crumble. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna I call you Violet from I don't now on. Like you crumble when Who's you're Violet? sick. Violet crumble. Genuinely sick, <laughs> you crumble. That's the type like, of does chocolate it, bar. Does it make your life? Do they make your work life more difficult after they think you're a liar? It's just that. It's just that looking at you differently, like. <laughs> Yeah, I know you weren't really. Well, is it the fact they ask you the next day, how are you, Emma? Are you feeling better? Is that what's upsetting you? <laughs> and because I, oh, I don't know. Like I do call in sick, but I don't like to do it too often or too close together, even if it's genuine. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I just yeah. hate, and then I, yeah. And I all down like, should I, I shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, I should I, shouldn't I. Like if I'm sick and I call in sick, I don't, it, it's not, I'm not being manipulative. Like okay, it's just I don't know what yeah. I think I'll do it for you from now on. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed. I'll ring up. <laughs> I think that that's what yeah, they if used they to say do if they board. say if they say, Oh, where is Emma? She goes, She's on her deathbed. Oh. She's in bed, feeling like death. <laughs> like think, I'm her husband, it, I'm her carer, I can I can ring. So yeah, isn't this one of the benefits of having a partner? A spouse. So they can yeah. do it for you. A spouse? No, I've never like that was I thought that was like a twenty year ago thing. That's not accepted anymore. <laughs> Uh, CJ, not? on the other on the other side, so you rang the doctor to find out if they've come, if they've gone to the doctor. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't noticed, believe what I'm hearing. Um, oh, so you've done it too. I know. I noticed something with their medical certificates. Yeah. It looked like it had been copied. Yeah. Because the same printing area, like let's say, I can't remember what letter it was. I noticed back to back, this letter had the same kind of missing bit of ink. <laughs> <laughs> Detective, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we called, we called, mate. You know. Yeah, and then what happened? My, 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 my I actually told my boss. My, my boss said, um, "I think we need you need more to do, man. You're getting a bit bored." <laughs> <laughs> this is right. So this is the thing. This is the thing where. The B side word.